My name is Kalia Eskew and I'm the manager of special exhibitions here at the St. Louis Science Center. This summer we are presenting Sue, the T-Rex experience. And this is going to be a multi-sensory experience where you get to not only meet Sue, the largest and most well-preserved T-Rex ever discovered, but you can also experience the world that Sue lived in, what the Cretaceous period in South Dakota looked like. You can see the modern science that we've learned from Sue, including um, how they move, how they eat, how they traveled, as well as uh, kind of the sensories of the Cretaceous period. Sue the T-Rex was discovered in 1990 in South Dakota by Sue Hendrickson, the fossil discoverer. Uh, what's been really amazing about Sue the T-Rex is that it is kind of considered the Rosetta Stone of dinosaurs. Right? Because Sue is so complete, actually 90% complete, where every other T-Rex ranges around 60%, we've learned so much more about uh, not only T-Rex, but about the world that Sue lived in. So we're able to see what kind of plants there were, what other animals were around, just based on what is around Sue's fossils. When you walk into the exhibit, there's gonna be a number of things that you get to catch your eyes. One of the biggest one is of course Sue, who comes in at over 40 feet long and 13 feet tall. And it is actually a multimedia light show. So what's really cool about this is that uh, about every 15 minutes this will be playing and you get to see the injuries that Sue sustained during their life. So there's pitting on their jaw um, that we believe actually led to their demise. There's arthritis on the tail. There's also injuries on the uh, wishbone, which is actually a newly discovered area. And one of them that um, actually ties T-Rex back to its modern ancestor being chickens. When you're exploring the exhibit, not only will you see Sue, but you'll also see Sue's biggest enemy, the Triceratops. So we do have a full-size cast replica of the Triceratops, as well as a real Triceratops skull. So it's very cool to be able to see how they piece that Triceratops skull together. And then as you continue through, you'll get to see my favorite piece, which is the actual fleshed out Sue. So we do have Sue in full size uh, with all the skin, and you can see it actually attacking a smaller dinosaur. As guests are exploring the Sue exhibit, you get to not only look, but you get to feel a number of very cool things. You can feel the fur from mammals that lived during the time. You can see what the skin of a dinosaur felt like. And one of the best spots is actually the scent stations. So we do have some lovely Cretaceous era plants like ginger and flowering trees that are just beautiful to smell. And for those that are brave, you can actually try to smell a dinosaur's, uh, specifically a T-Rex breath. Some of my coworkers have explained them like an old locker, uh, rotting meat, <laughs> and it is a little bit of a mix of that. What's interesting about T-Rex is that they didn't chew their food. They actually just ripped back and ate. So we do find uh, flesh, bacteria, that's all contributing to that uh, wonderful smell that I encourage you to try. <laughs> this exhibit can be enjoyed by guests of all ages and can be seen in both English and Spanish. Through the T-Rex experience, we'll be showing at the St. Louis Science Center through early September. While admission to the Science Center is always free, this does require tickets. Information can be found on our website at slsc.org.